Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <clears throat> My name is uh, Volodya Sverdyuk. Yeah. I'm working uh, like a software engineer at, uh, in a CAD company uh, with, uh, with code, with technologies like Ruby, Elixir, JavaScript, and people. And uh, people are my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, um, many of you may know me as a big uh, PivRux fan. And uh, yeah, it's true. I'm an absolute uh, PivRux champion by amount of visit today. It's at uh, 29, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, today is also my first time um, public technical talk in English. Um, I'm a bit nervous because um, I'm not native English speaker. Uh, neither are you. <laughs> and uh, my English is sucks, uh, so, but just like yours, so never mind. Uh, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Um, Ira gives an excellent talk, and uh, it worsens my position. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll try all my best. So, and uh, please uh, translate somebody to Nick what Uslopke means. So. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ira. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, how can I get an idea for my talk? Uh, some time ago, I checked at the PureRack website talk section uh, just to look at less discussed topics. And uh, I was very surprised to discover that the last 20 talks at PureRack do not contain Ruby code, or contain so little of it that it's, that it's hard to count as a Ruby talk. Yeah, seriously, you can check it. So after that, I had one very simple question. Folks, who we are? <laughs> we are Ruby development community or some kind of noble ladies club? Okay, today I will fix this. My plan is to show you a lot of Ruby code. It's even better. I'm gonna show you a lot of Trailblazer code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, handmade. <laughs> um, please raise your hand if you ever know what a Trailblazer is. Oh, a lot of hands, you know it. Okay, nice. And now, who are using Trailblazer in production? One, two, oh, a lot of hands, Nick. It's good. Uh, okay, for all others, one slide. Uh, what is Trailblazer? It's an um, advanced business logic framework. It's an architecture. Uh, but personally for me, it's the last hope that we can, we can build large and scalable Rails applications without painful legacy. Uh, it's always about why. Why we should use Trailblazer? Uh, like, I don't know, because uh, at Inocode, uh, it helped us to uh, avoid holivers. Like, I know a lot of teams who had a huge problem, but we don't have it at all at Inocode. Uh, it's very handy. We know where to put the code. We are not wholly worried. We, uh, it provides fast code reviews, because we cannot, don't guessing about architecture or design. We can focus on code, on solution. Uh, it's nice documented, like not perfect. <laughs> yep, oh. uh, and uh, oh, trailblazer. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, miss typo, it's typo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the official website, trailblazer.to, you can find a lot of interesting code examples. So yeah, and Trailblazer is good uh, both partially and uh, in total, so it's nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go step by step and I'll review the most uh, interesting advantages. Um, so first of all, it's a uh, it's a clean architecture. Look at this app folder. Yeah, only three, three some folders, only only controllers and models from Rails. Uh, you can wonder, okay, okay, it's an API-only application, uh, but what about serialization, uh, representation, uh, mailers, or even uh, background workers? Uh, where does all this shit live? Uh, and I will answer. <laughs> In an amazing concept that Rebase brings for us. Uh, for each domain layer, like uh, user, or project, or blog post, or whatever you have, uh, we define our own layers. Uh, for example, Business-related code lives in operations. Uh, 
to achieve this, we use a uh, chain of inheritance principle. Uh, at the top application level, we predefine all application layers uh, and domain layers, but everything we need, and domain layers just inherit them. Uh, this helps newcomers to understand the app and uh, might build be faster. And it's a fast onboarding, onboarding for newcomers. Um, just look at this fashionable controller. <laughs> Simply run operation with params and the context like current user and uh, represent a result. Uh, this helps to, uh, to stay our models clean, elegant, and uh, business logic free. Uh, active record relations are okay to read data, uh, but for mutations through callbacks or validation, hell no. Uh, and this is the fattest model in a big app, only 30 lines of code, and it's amazing. Uh, because operations are very useful uh, to organize complex business logic into reusable and understandable components. Uh, we have many operations uh, for uh, handle different use cases, and when we need new one, we're able to use the full power of OOP. Just inherit and change what you need. It's so easy. Data serialization become comfortable. <coughs> comfortable. Everything is explicit. Uh, with getters, for example, uh, we can use functional approach for ma ma manipulation of data, and it's cool. Uh, cells are awesome. It's a representation layer from Trailblazer. Uh, honestly, cells uh, gave me a hope that we can build server-side HTML rendering without the pain. Uh, it's very similar with views in Phoenix framework or Hanami views, so uh, yeah. Mailers, let's talk about mailers. Um, who says that mailers should belong to framework? With cells, uh, we, are very, we, are, we are very useful to manage complex mail representation logic. Uh, those who try to do this with uh, action mailer understand me very well. And uh, contracts, it's a form validation layer in a train blazer. With contracts, we build this complex form with ease. Uh, for example, this massive sign up forms with uh, uh, tons of fields, relations, and uh, uh, nested attributes relations. So um, those who try to do this with accept nested attributes in Rails or nested validations, like know what real pain is. Uh, contracts has everything to uh, lower hidden complexity and make things easy. Uh, but here is the really, but, he, but here is the thing that really makes me proud. Uh, most of this code uh, was written not by me. Uh, <laughs> most of this, not all. Like as a team member, share my love and passion to Trailblazer. Like Vasil, hi Vasil, <laughs> hi man, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, who helps me promote the Trailblazer at Inner Code? Um, it's because as a team leader, uh, you cannot just say, you cannot, cannot just say, uh, shut up and using fucking Trailblazer. <laughs> no, you can't force this process. It's only about adoption. It's uh, adoption by all team members. <laughs> Saves you from guessing how to do things right. <sighs> yeah. And so it's all about try it. Uh, because I made this talk to show you that it's not scary to uh, learn or adopt something new. It's interesting. Uh, even if you have a tons of questions uh, when you're starting. Um, and guess what? <laughs> Today we're lucky. Um, Trailblazer creator Nick Sattler comes to tell us more about upcoming 2.1 release. Uh, so you can see the moment and ask him uh, whatever you want. But uh, before all attention will go to him, maybe you have some question to me. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I think when I started, I realized that uh, business logic should not have uh, like living controllers or models. I'm trying to uh, play with the service objects. Like I create, my, I started creating my own service object. It was this was like a bicycle because I'm creating uh, like uh, commands and handlers and decision makers. Why I don't know. I, I don't know why. But 
because um, I was not familiar with approach that already like solve all my problems. Uh, then um, colleague gave me a book it's called uh, Trailblazer, very first version. I read this uh, uh, book and uh, just I like it because it seems like to solve a lot of my problems in that in that time. So and apply it and starting to refactoring the huge REST application step by step with concepts and uh, yeah. But this is a total another story. <laughs> Oh, su surprisingly, first time Oksana gave a question. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> 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 Very good question. <laughs> well, I, I, I think. Uh, First of all, Oksana, it's a girl who presses the button when you uh, attend to the event, so <laughs> she's responsible if you are not going to this event, so thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. When, I, uh, when we start thinking about Pivorak website, um, we saw that we want to build website, and uh, we start thinking how we to do this, by engines, maybe some microservices, fashionable architecture, or trailblazer. Uh, but then we realize that if you want to build something, we need to uh, do with uh, approach that everybody was familiar with. Uh, so to we started with, with a simple Rails way. Uh, because that's, wha that's what I say, it's about adoption. Like all your team members should, should share the knowledge of the technology that you, that you, you, can use, that you want to use. Uh, yeah, but we have an issue on GitHub to rewrite, uh, rewrite website to Trailblazer uh, 2.0 uh, and uh, hopes, I hope with your help, uh, when community grows, it's not because every time as Anna says that I am like made of Pirog website. No, it's not me. It's you. It's a community made. Like uh, yeah, like I started this, but not 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 not. This is not 100% my uh, jobs done. Um, so when community grows and uh, we have community guys that realize how Trailblazer is cool and how we can rewrite uh, current uh, Pirog website with Trailblazer, Trailblazer version, uh, we definitely should do it. Nice question. Uh, I think if your team are well qualified with Trailblazer, you can start doing this. Uh, but if you start a new project with a team of junior developers, you can tr you can try to implement it step by step. Like use a simple Rails way and generate scaffolds and this all, because like it's so it's so useful. Like uh, project dot new in a controller, no like project dot new and validate required, but Every time when your hand want to type if, if, else, unless, and some, you put business logic somewhere. Uh, this is a signal that you have to implement some business logic architecture. And this is true based definitely, so that's why. Okay, I have time for one more question. <laughs> Last one, previous one. Ah, this is the first one. Was <laughs> uh, engines? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, uh, good question because. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It's a good question because yeah, Rails agent is uh, good for pluggable architecture. If you need pluggable architecture, uh, then definitely you have to use Rails uh, engine if you have Rails app. Uh, but Trailblazer is about business logic. So if you want to write the Rails engines and manage some complex business logic, you can put Trailblazer inside engine, and uh, Trailblazer will be the latest inside this engine. And it's uh, yeah, and Trailblazer works with engine very well. Maybe with some little workarounds, by Nick already fixes all issues that I uh, put in him on the hit half. He helps me a lot because my first time um, meeting with Trailblazer was uh, the same time when I met the engines. So I uh, put Trailblazer in engines, and uh, it uh, works as, uh, very well. <laughs>